The following presentation is a paid program, and this station is in no way responsible for its contents or views expressed therein. Viewer discretion advised. music it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a live half hour show it's called live at five it's gonna be no break in the tape live at five so uh we start right at time at five nine times five is 45 no yeah true see what time it is go it's on the clock see oh, what there time we go. it is man yeah. one you see the clock you see the clock ladies and gentlemen it's 5 30 5 30 that means you got a half an hour of this crud to listen to for a half an hour. Now, I don't think there's going to be any breaks. We're looking for uh, sponsors for the show. We're about to go off the air. So f first off, I want to start the show off. I'm telling Oscar, sh start the show off with flash of the number. 231737ROCK. R-O-C-K. Or 231737-7625. 231-737-7625, live at 5. Although it's 5.30, that doesn't matter. Musicians are always a half an hour late. If you want to get a musician to be on time, what you do is tell him to be there an hour early. From whatever time he's going to be there, you just say, uh, well, the gig starts at 4.30 and the load ends at 3 o'clock, so we'd like you guys there at uh, 2. Now, if you tell them that, they're going to be there at 3. Mitt, that's going to be the earliest they're going to be there. <laughs> you know, unless they're a good classy guy like me and then it's a half hour late, you know, because I've generally had an actual problem. But most of the musicians have no problem being a two or three hours late for a gig if you tell them it starts at this time. Okay? All right. Now, uh, I'd just like to say one thing. I've only been stiffed by one uh, bar in the whole world that's in Ludington. It's called, I'm not going to mention the name of it, but it's a cruddy place. And they only stiffed me, my band, for $600. Didn't pay us, even though we played all night long. They also stiffed a band called Dr. Hook and the Medicine Men. Now, you guys heard of those guys? Yep. Dr. Hook and the, Dr. Hook and the Medicine Men. So there again is another kind of crazy brush with greatness by Carter Moore. So me and Dr. Hook and the Medicine Men, who were on the cover of the Rolling Stones, were stiffed by the same couple of jackasses. I can say that on television. They're jackasses. Boom, I like to get them. Boom, boom. But, hey, I'm a peaceful man. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You know, sinneth in your heart, sinneth in your, in your soul. It's, it's the way it goes. I don't want to get them, but I'm not going to take them to court either. Uh, litigation can happen in, in heaven for me for that one. You know, the guy stiffed us, though. Didn't pay us anything, even though we were a little late. You know, we had genuine problems. We had genuine, genuine problems. We were a little late. The guy stiffed us for, uh, supposed to pay us $600, and he paid us nothing, even though we played from 11 o'clock at night till 2 in the morning nonstop. We didn't even take a break, you know. And the bar had, the reason why there was nobody in the bar is because it was a dang beer tent down the road, right? So this guy says, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, stiff these guys because I'm drunk and I can do it and so I'm not going to pay him. Cool. He came we started at 11 o'clock to nobody in the house. Anybody that came in that house I made sure they stayed and had a good time. By 12 o'clock when that jackass got there he got there at 12 o'clock. He's drunk he says man I just did a DJ gig and I made $300 and I looked at him and I went yeah well whatever man. We start jamming and we're jamming. We jam from 11 o'clock real time to two o'clock real time which is about 20 minutes after two his time we gave that man three hours he gave us no money and then he said to us oh the uh the the uh, the, the bouncer or uh, uh yeah come over here i'm gonna pound your head he's gonna pound our head he's gonna pound my 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 drummer tom's head the marine he's gonna pound his head and uh shane's over oh i'm gonna get get away from that guy and i just went hey man i just want my money 
can you can I take you aside? And here's here's a true story. I go I go. Hey man, I don't even know you. My name's Carter Moore. What's your name? Give me this hand. Give me this hand. All right, all right. Give me this hand. I said, What's your name? My name's Carter Moore. You know? Yeah. And he goes. I said, I don't even know you, man, but I like you. My name's Carter Moore. How you doing? He goes. I'll take that back. He goes. I'll never forget it. He goes. I guess I did forget it. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. No. He says, I said, my name's Carter Moore. How you doing, man? I really, uh, what's your name? I, I, I really like you, but I can't, I can't, I don't remember your name. He goes, he goes, I'm going to kick your ass. And my name is what, what, you're, what, huh? And I went, F what the hell am I going to do? Excuse me, you got to edit that out. Yeah, yeah. I'll be the back. man, I introduced myself, but he you know, oh God, Elvis, Jesus! He didn't pay us. Isn't there like only one bar in Ludington? Yeah, there, there's a couple bars in Ludington. <laughs> but I think we know what one you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's the only one that you stand on a stage and right next to the bar, and there's a freaking. Anyway, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. There's some other people that ripped my family off in the past, and litigation, mitigation, it doesn't matter. It's all God's thing. All right, that's five minutes of that crap. <laughs> 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 all right, so now let's go on. Master. All right, let's walk back here. What I want to talk to you about today is people that are peeing me off. Like another owner of a music store across town came in here and said some really rude ass to my secretary right there and about made her poop her pants. And uh, now it's war, MF. It's war. Carter Moore is at war with those guys out at by the mall. Okay, those guys out at the mall are ripoffs. They're gonna charge you way more money than on anything that you should be spending. You should, and 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 they're, they're not only that, they're rude, ungodly, and have no place in this in this town. They've sent off two people into this town and ripped the, our town off, and now they're doing it again. And they're out at the mall. And I'm not I'm not afraid to tell you. They charge you fifteen hundred dollars for saxophones. $700 for guitars, $800 for this and for that, $3,000 for this and for that. If you come to more music on 3100 A Henry Street, 3100 A Henry Street, Muskegon, Michigan, Norton Shores, right next to the Muskegon Heights, right next to Roosevelt Park. I've been here since I was 15 years old. I moved here from Detroit, and I love this town. It's like, it's a wonderful town. First thing I did was get lost in this town, in my little Camaro out there in the middle of the in the middle of the heights, and man, I had a good time. <laughs> First thing I did is had a good time in this town. That man right there is coming to this town and have things, it's not so good now. But it's at war. You're at war with Carter Moore, and, and every time I go to war, I win. I've never lost a war, ever. And I've had quite a few of them. Thank you very much. So it's at war, okay? We're lowering the prices on everything because we're going to put that guy out of business. He's not going to go out of business because he has deep pockets. Very deep pockets. But people with deep pockets don't tend to like to lose money. So if you don't shop out there, don't be a fool and shop out at the mall or anywhere near the mall. Anything out by the mall they're paying too much money for. There should be restaurants there like, uh, bring us another rib joint. Uh, uh, how about, how about a, uh, a, a uh, Greek chili dog place? A Detroit Greek chili dog place. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll buy one and put it right there. How can you have a brick building with no no uh, windows in it, and where there should be a restaurant, and you have a music store that does sells nothing but saxophones and violins and trumpets and trombones and all that baloney. Well, I'm selling it now for one third the price what they're selling their stuff for. One third. If you're paid fifteen hundred dollars for a saxophone, you can come to my place and buy one for five hundred dollars. All right, five hundred dollars. The only problem I have is I can't keep the saxophones. On the shelves. Every time we go to go to do a show, I've sold out of the saxophone. I don't know what you paid for your trombones, ladies and gentlemen, but right now I'm going to show you a trombone that I'm going to charge you $250 for. Brand new, never been spit upon. Brand new trombone. All right, never been spit upon, ever. What did I just say, $250? I mean it, $250. I just want to take their business away from them. They've been ripping you off for too long, okay? How about this thing right here? How about a, how about a uh, clarinet in custom colors? I don't know, how about $200 for that, 
about this violin right here. And they're gonna tell you, oh, his stuff's junk. Don't buy the stuff from them, cause that stuff's, that stuff's junk. Don't buy the stuff from them, cause we're not gonna get a kickback from it. That's what that is. This violin has got, it's in a custom color, it's in black, but it's, it's, it's a solid top, solid spruce top, maple back and sides, maple neck, professional tuners, professional tuners. We have, these are, this is the fine tuners. All right, comes with two bows. Two bows, the thingamajigger rester. Uh, this is rosewood on the thing. I can't play these things, but uh, I don't know. How's two hundred dollars sound? You want that? It's two hundred dollars. Normally, my competition would try to sell you that for about I don't know two thousand dollars. I don't know. What do they cost? Who co? Who knows? Who cares? I'm so mad. You know what's mad about me? I hate the competition. I truly hate the competition. You know how easy that makes my job, ladies and gentlemen? Man, you're marked. Carter Moore hates the competition. And I'm not talking about Bird's Music next door because they're not my competition, they're my friends. They've been here for years too. And these guys have taken it upon themselves to try to put them out of business as they put Beerman's out of business, as they put Rip Music out of business, as they put Stutz Music out of business. These guys have done that. They're acting like they're a corporation. They're not a corporation. They only have five little teeny tiny stores. Five little ones. Five centimeters, as we like to say. Yeah, yeah. Centimeters. Teeny tiny ones. Man, I'm coming after you, and you know who I'm talking about. You, what you said to my secretary, that was some rude, rude things to say. If you know, you gotta know people before you talk to people, bro. Do you see my eyes? Do you see the eyes of a madman? You see the face of a madman? You probably do. But it's coming down upon you, the madness, that is. All right, let's keep going here. Is that another violin? Let's look at the trumpet. Where's the trumpets? Oh. Speaking of trumpets, the trumpets are like the trumpets of Jericho bringing down the walls over there. And I'm talking about their big corporation also that have been ripping off. You know what? You know why I'm so mad? I'll tell you why I'm mad. I'll tell you why I'm mad. Because the corporations that, that, that be music out there, they own so many stores, little brick buildings with no windows in them. They sit next to malls. They charge $3,000 for instruments that I can buy for $300, and then I can turn around and sell it to you for $500 and still make money, all right? Those guys are quadzookling their money. All I want to do is make a 40% profit. You can even buy them to me on time, pay half down, $250 down, you can walk with the thing, and then I'm in the debt, 100 bucks, and then down the line, you can make some money. I'm, I'm talking about destroying the, watch out, I'm gonna jump. Watch out, I'm gonna jump. I'm jumping down on you, hey! You think I'm crazy? Watch me. All right. Wow, man! You think that's funny? You think I'm crazy? You bet I'm crazy. Crazy Carter, CC. Boom! Let's go, any day of the week. Don't come in my store again, owner. Owner of, mm, I don't know if I can say it or not. Now we're back and rolling, it's only been, check the time out, check the time out. It's only been about two seconds. First of all, if I gotta get, I, I, I sold this harmonica to this guy. This cool dude just bought a harmonica from me. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna give it to him until I'm done with it. <laughs> but, you know, if somebody, you can buy a used harmonica, it's not taboo, all right? Just as you can, come here, just as you can spit into a used trombone, shut up there. I got used trombones. I'm, I've got them on sale now. Any, any used trombone or used trumpet on sale or used flute, everything I got in the store, 100 bucks. Anything you want right now, 100 bucks. $100. Normally that's insane because, but I got to make room for the new ones I've got coming, man, because the new ones I got coming, they're so wonderful. It's unbelievable. So we're going to sell things for like 250 saxophones for $500. Tenor sax is 750 bucks. Alto sax is six, sopranos, 500 bucks. Unheard of low prices. 1500 and you can yeah. buy a used harmonica as long as you like clean it when you get home, boil it, or you don't even have to do that because half the spit in there is like three years old. You can't get AIDS from kissing somebody, <laughs> all right? You can't get AIDS from kissing somebody unless it's a really deep 
dark, hard kiss over and over <laughs> again for about six hours. So don't worry about getting spit upon or spit in your eye from some, somebody that is AIDS that has AIDS. I have friends with AIDS, and I've, I've been friends with them for 15 years, and I don't ever fear getting AIDS from them when they get drunk and spit all over me in a bar. But I, I love them, you know, and, and I'm the only one that knows that, so I'm the only one talking to them, you know what I mean? So what I got to say is you can't get AIDS from a, a trumpet or, you know, the, the harmonica. But there you go, man. Here's your Thank harmonica. You. Let me get my harmonica out. God darn it. Let me do it as quick as I can. Let me find one that I can wail on. Where's my, where's that harmonica? As Bill Clinton used to say. <laughs> can I say that on TV? Bill Clinton was the greatest president in the United States ever. Uh, it was him and uh, I would say uh, Abraham Lincoln. Jimmy Carter. Yeah, Jimmy Carter. Uh, and I'm voting, and I'm actually running for president right now of the United States of America. And my party is called the LMNOP party. And I'll tell you about that. I'd probably never, but hey, I'm running for president, and uh, I can play harmonica. So watch me. You guys see my harmonica mic around here? I think it looks like a vacuum cleaner. Is it in that box down there? It sure is. This is the harmonica mic we sell down here. It's kick ass. It's only like about 50 bucks. It looks like a, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a vacuum cleaner not thing from the olden days. This is not something we, we, uh, re we sell. Watch this. This is a friend of mine, Lame Dog. Goes out to you, shouts out to Lame Dog. Thank you very much for bringing this back. I charged him a hundred bucks for this and I think I gave him a $50 loan or something, but he's right. This is a piece of junk. And, uh, but this old little okay. strand Take plastic it, thing is the bomb to the bomb to the bone. So, uh. Let's, let's, I'll demonstrate how this works. You can come down to more music and uh, see these kind of demonstrations all the time. It's kick butt. It's bad as bone! I'm crazy! I'm destroying high prices! Remember, saxophones, $500. Trumpets, $250. Trombones, $250. A friend of mine got me these amplifiers. I'm in the tube amplifiers. If you can find a tube amplifier and bring it down here, we'll fix it up. We'll get it going. We will! Rock! Check this out. What you do is you get an old tube amp like this, plug this into the microphone thing right here, you turn it on, and you go. Turn it up all the way, and step back, and let the master play. Now watch out, because, you know, when I get mad, I get crazy, and you can all see that. You can see that the man is crazy. Step aside. Step aside, step aside and let the man go by. Step aside, step aside, step aside and let the man go by. <laughs>
No, when I get mad at people and I get kind of crazy, like the like thing, first thing I like to do is take take their hand and put it on my heart. And I say, man, that's how mad you got me. It's pumping. And that's how mad you got me, bro. And I can get this up anytime I want. I do it all the time. That's how mad you got me. Is that pumping? Yeah, oh yeah. It's pumping. And it continues to pump. All right, we only got 10 minutes. I'm going to settle down a little bit. Now they got my, now they got my thing up. <laughs> Your thing up. <laughs> One moment, please. This is my man, Rick Keller, can fix anything. Where's my hat? For you, boss. Okay, who's this? Hello? Oh, hello. Okay, this is John Q. Okay, uh, all right, John Q. Start asking me questions again. Right here. How you doing? Uh, you want some questions? Uh, yeah. I need a pedal that makes you a rock star. <laughs> you asked me that last week. <laughs> and you came in and I gave you that pedal. And you took it home and you said it didn't work. <laughs> this week I want to ask you, do you think that I'm crazy? You're not crazy. You're more insane. I, like you should be on Ritalin. Right. And uh, <laughs> and what do you think about somebody that would tee me up? You think they would be in trouble, or you think they should watch out? Well, with a guy like John Q, with your friend, <laughs> yes, they could be in trouble. That's what I'm saying. With the giant like John Q public as my friend, they could be in trouble because if they tee off the public and make the public. If they rip off the public, take too much money from the public, send people out into the public that actually physically steal from them, hire people that would actually physically steal from the public as they steal from their boss, would you be... You and I hated... If you hated him, John Q. Public, and I hated him, wouldn't that be stupid? I mean, wouldn't this... Wouldn't my competition be scared of me, John? Yes, you're going to put them all out of business. Right. <laughs> you said the right thing without even, I didn't even tell him to say that because that's John Q. Public. He's just, I'm going to put you out of business. You know, that you want to know something, man? When you called me and you said that rude ass stuff to, my, to my, my, my wife's best friend, you know what you did, man? I didn't even know you said that. When she put you on the phone and said, uh, this guy's here, he wants to talk to you, I, t I picked up the phone and that's when I said, Hey, I'm putting you out of business, man. Get out of town. That was before she told me what you said. I read her mind just as John read my mind because my mind is easily read because I wear my heart on my sleeve. You see that? My heart on my sleeve, brah. It's all over for you and your pretty little thing. Go away. And don't come back, or I might I might go down to Holland and and go there. I, hey, John, don't you have a big old house in in uh, Granville? Yeah. Don't you live in Granville? Yeah. And what? Maybe we should start a store there too, because uh, this guy has pissed me off. This uh, owner of this other store here out at the mall, he came in here and said some really rude things to my secretary, and he's made me mad, John Q. Public. You know, John Q. Public is Muskegon. And he's Granville, and he's Holland, and people in Holland don't like you, and people in Granville don't like you, and I don't like you! <laughs> so if I was you, I would take real heed to what I'm saying. They better run to the hills. Run to the hills. <laughs> Go back down to Georgia. Otherwise, we, don't, we might follow you there. He's got a couple... Uh, he's got a couple... Hangs out in Georgia. The devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> I've seen the devil, man. You ain't the devil. Look at me. I'm the devil. People say it all the time. Now you're going to know it. What I say was true. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Man, what, we got five more minutes? I'll see you later, John Q. Public. Call next week with a question, would you please? Thank you. All right, have a good day, sir. Bye. Bye. All right, I don't know, it's like perfect timing. John Q. Public calling there at the end of the show. All right, I'll give you some pointers. Don't mess with me! <laughs> I'm a Washburn dealer. I'm the only, and I'm a Washburn dealer. I'm the only one in town. Washburns are a great big bang for your buck. They got a lot of sound and they're not a lot of money.
pretty nice guitars. I don't talk a lot about Washburn on my show because because they speak for themselves, really. They've been sold in town here for about a hundred years. Beerman's Music used to sell them before they were very, very terribly just mowed down the other day. I wanted to buy that building and put my store down there, but they wouldn't let me. They mowed it down. They mowed it down, and I don't know what they, I wonder what they did with the sign. It doesn't really matter. They're in business a hundred years. They were a Muskegon tradition. Now they go bye bye. And then uh, that's it for me. I think I'm going insane. You know what I'm saying? They call me crazy, and I guess maybe I am going a little crazy. That's because when you make me mad, things go crazy. Don't walk into a hornet's nest with a brick and throw it, because you're gonna get you're gonna get stung. Crate. Crate has come a long way. Crate has come a long way. All right, I'm 45 years old, man. I don't lift weights, I don't take steroids. I know damn well that you're a steroid-taking dude. I seen you, I seen you. People that take steroids are weird, man. They get all antsy-pantsy. They'll say anything to anybody. I don't need steroids to be crazy. You've self-induced yourself craziness with steroids. That's the truth, this guy's crazy. This thing weighs very little. That's why I can rip, rip put it above my head. Yet it has two amplifiers in it. It's quite a bit like a Mackie, but it's about 400 watts, 300 on the bottom, 100 on the top. But it's, this one's cool because it's a little better than a Mackie. It's got a three band EQ on it. So it's a big speaker, see? Goes on the speaker pole like that, but you run the power right to it. It's the newest technology. It's called a powered monitor or a powered speaker. See, so you can have it down there on the floor. Doing a, need a monitor thing. And I think it even goes, yeah, even more of a pitch if you're a close monitor, like that. Okay, so now I'm, it's a monitor. It's a close throw monitor. It's a long throw monitor. And it goes on a pole. And it's all that. And I sell them for way cheaper than a Mackie and way cheaper than a PV. And they're uh, guaranteed, they, they're brand new. Warranties of five. Five and two year fully transferable warranty. I'm a trade dealer. Uh, man. Let's see. They fixed it. You fixed that. All right, let's talk about this. He fixed it, ladies and gentlemen. It's fixed. Unbelievable. I was going to about to throw this guitar away in the garbage, and now it's fixed. So, kick ball. This is Rick Eller. This is our uh, amp guy. This guitar guy extraordinaire. I never got the round back design. That's why we don't sell them here. But if you want one, I can locate you one. <laughs> okay. I think that's about it. I know it is. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. It's been a pleasure. Hope it didn't scare anybody this week, except for one guy. I just scared you. <laughs> <laughs>